exciting day. We're headed to Arkansas. We're gonna drop Creed off, and we're gonna start this big adventure to Washington. Woo! We have new brakes, so I'm not scared. Send us some positive vibes, people. Arriving on our first stop outside of gas on this trip to Sir Creed's house, who's covered up with Chief. Yeah, this yeah, point right here. Um, we will drop Creed off, and then we will continue. Uh, we need to cut some limbs around here, Creed. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. I remember coming to this to Creed's place back when some of these trees were babies. Now they're overgrown. <laughs> All right, Creed. Well, we're on our first break and we need to get out and stretch. And I'm sure we need to get out and pee. How about it, Chief? You wanna go pee? Yeah? We it's funny that me and Ariel can remember the gas stations we've been to on these trips that have been months, months in between visits, I guess you can say. Um, but we always pull them like, oh, we've been to this gas station. But you want to get out? Come on. Let's go this way. Come on. Well, before we get back on the road, we don't need gas, but somebody does need oh. Wow. A new change. All right, quick bathroom break for Chief and a surprise bathroom break for Noah. <laughs> All right, I don't know where we are. Oh, yeah, where are we? Uh, north of Jackson. North of Jackson, south of Memphis. There we go. Uh, Boy, there's <laughs> definitely some excitement when it comes to uh, getting in this truck. Wee! <laughs> well, well. Well, I will say. Taking a little break. Just a little entertainment. Well, 10 hours, five minutes. That's a little bit less than the time that took us to get home. 10 hours and five minutes, we have finally arrived at our, our RV. I can see it just over the hill. I'm tired, but me and Ariel have a lot to do still. We basically have to finish closing the slides of the RV, get the back unpacked, which is full of way too much stuff, but I'm okay with that. And head out as early as possible in the morning. Ar Ariel, are you ready to go balls to the wall until um, House of Dragons comes on at 9 o'clock? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, AKA, this is going to be, Ariel has to watch Noah and I do everything because Noah's not going to allow us to put him yeah. down. He's definitely going to hold regret from him having to be back there in that car seat. And I, and I know it. He's plotting on us right now even though he just fell back to sleep after having a good crying spell. But, Another one. Now, 
I could that video could have went on and on with the what you would probably call petty things, the real minute things that might be helpful. But I'm gonna put this one under maintenance and this is putting, and this is only because I have this kind of hitch. Now if you don't have a pull ride or any of the slider hitches in this one apply to you, um, a lot of people use the disc. But I put grease on my tracks every now and then on my uh, plate here, or for my plate to slide on since it slides. Uh, I do this, I kind of look at it before we leave and this looks really dry and also this is the first time we've taken it out of the truck since I bought it. Uh, we just wanted the room as we went to Mississippi for the family reunion. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this out, run it down the track and peel this, or peel this, twist this down so it slides and just make sure it's moving really good before we put it in the truck, before we hitch up tomorrow morning. I you said you were ready. Huh? <laughs> I'm ready. I just, uh, when I looked at this, I was like, hmm, this could do a little bit of uh, gelling. A little bit of gelling. Want to go ahead and check that? That's kind of this bottle. Ready when you are. All right. Last major thing for the day, me and Oreo are going to put this hitch in the back of the truck. I just finished putting the grease on it, so good to go. Put it in the uh, truck. And unlike what happened the last time that was put in there, we're going to put the lock pins in there. You hear that Jeep customization if you guys follow me? That was you. Anyway, ready Oreo? <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring it down to the middle and then you'll catch, I think, back side and I'll do the front. And we'll just tip it. Bring it down to the middle. To the middle. All right, Ariel is gone. Cleaning the truck is done. She's gonna go to Walmart and get all of our meals for the remainder of this trip so we do not have to pull over and eat. I'd rather not waste money on that kind of stuff. I'm not a big fan of fast food unless we're in a pinch on time. We have time. Um, truck is wiped down. Gotta get that chief hair out of there. It drives me nuts to let him to allow that to build up from day to day. So I take care of that after every trip. <laughs> it's annoying, but I gotta get it done. Next thing is to get these small things packed away, go inside the RV, run through the night before checklist. If you wanna see what we do on that, I'll put that video in the description below. It's time to continue up this rest of the leg of the trip. That was hard to say. All right, on to the next project. Good morning, it is 518. I think we're moving relatively well, but, but. You hear the birds? More birds chirping? The birds knew that we weren't going to get that much sleep, so they said, yeah. Noah said, hey, I'm going to take a little bit more from you. All night. All night. No temperature, maybe has gas, but no, you know what? Every time we're holding them, we're interacting with them, no crying. As soon as we put them down, crying. So, we got to bite that bullet while we set up, put them in the crib, get everything knocked out so we can get out of here versus it just being a one-person show. <sighs> But I'll take that song all day if I didn't, versus not having one at all. All right, it's the race against the sun. I'm gonna go get some gas for the truck.
354. When we left Mississippi, we paid. I think we paid 290 something. Just amazes me. ready to hitch. <laughs> we did not feed Noah, so we had to feed Noah, so we had a little sit down with him as he screamed at us, but rolling back the cover, I think we're going to hitch up as soon as Ariel finishes her last minute checks, or a second run through of our checklist. As I said in our longevity video, when Ariel brings in the slides, it's the only time I like to pull out the lube and I spray the gears as she brings it in. Ready! I blocked everything, but I'm spraying just like so just so I can show you. I'm spraying right in there. So I gotta let her know that I'm ready. Well, you're not coming with us. All right, now I'm gonna go to the living room. I knock on the wall. Oh, now I have to reach. There we go. Now we can start our outdoor process of dropping the hitch, or dropping the front of the camper. Oh, thank you. It'll be a little bit easier yeah. on me as I walk around. Come on, trees. All right, we're doing our walkthrough, last safety walk. Uh, everything We're looking for everything is locked, everything is in place, the windows are shut. Um, huh? I put the key inside there. It's a, we'll have to go have to get off the truck. Um, see? Uh, <laughs> everything is locked. I'm going to open up my aperture real quick. There we go. Making sure that everything is locked, everything is in place. Everything is tightened. I hate I hate walking back here because I'm gonna tell you what Arkansas ticks. That's that's what I got out of this. Oh, that's not budging. Okay. Um, again, everything is tight. Everything is secure. Last time, or the last from when we we're coming back from Arizona, this window was actually open. Don't ask me. I don't even remember because that definitely was not the time to be opening up our windows. I thought about taking this off, but we didn't take this off from Arizona, so this will stay. It's screwed in. It's part of the, I'm actually using a screw mechanism or a screw housing for the back of the furnace. Everything looks good. Three hours. So Noah has definitely added a level to this uh, um slowed us up but I'm 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 okay we are okay we are leaving things are safe um, I don't care for three hours that it takes I think what we'll just have to do next time is prepare two days in advance but hey soon as you're old enough you're doing this okay yeah Yo, oh, yeah I see the side eye soon as you're old enough chief well folks 
we're on our way to our first or our second stop, which will be Colorado Springs. We are gonna go see Ryan, Brad, and their four kids. I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't seen, when's the last time, when's the last time I've seen Brad? I don't know. Me neither. It's been a while since I've seen Brad. Um, Ryan, I think I saw Ryan at Timmy's was the last time, your aunts. Um, I'm excited, so let's get on the road. Let's record some of this footage on our way there. Oh, no, no, oh my God, we're not making it to Colorado Springs tonight. We're gonna go outside of Kansas. We'll film as we go. Let's get out of here. We are on our first stop, and this man is so excited to get out of the truck. Aren't you excited? Are you excited to be out of the truck? Yes, you are. We are just about, are we, we're in, uh, are we in Kansas? No. We're somewhere and we are on our way to, <laughs> to our destination in Salina, is it Salina? Okay. Salina, Kansas, um, all is well. We water. decided, we normally do not fill up for gas on our trips until we get there, but we are outside of our bracket, so I think we've done 200 and, 10 miles um yeah no we've done 160 miles i just finished a quarter of a tank so not bad i think i filled up 72 dollars i'm gonna kind of log how much this trip to washington costs um which will vary because i know i'm gonna do a little bit of dri well it'll vary it'll be more than what i'm it normally would have been because i am gonna do a little bit of driving in between our stops but i'm okay with that um but not a bad trip only one accident you got to see what i got on my webcam I'm going to put that up here and I'll catch you at our destination. run into um, some flash flood warning signs on our phone but was, it all passed and the yeah. sun came out and dried everything up and dried up all the rain yep and it's <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing that song uh, but we are we're doing really good we've got like what two and a half hours left less than that yes before we make it to our destination we got plenty of time and I don't even know, I don't know if we did a half, I don't know if this is a halfway point or less than halfway, no, it can't be. But I still have not burned a quarter of a tank of gas, and we only did a quarter of a tank of gas when we filled up. That's just crazy to me. So this is only half a tank, so I'll, will I finish off with just half a tank with the 460 no, total it was, miles? No, it was, it was total 480 something. Ah. We'll yeah. only have a tank. We'll see. I'm interested. But I know a full tank is more than a full tank. There's some more to it because it takes forever for me to get off on the full line and then off the full line. True. But as soon as I get off that full line. <laughs> but other factors that we have to consider are mountains because... Boy, Patty is so upset. She is going to drink some diesel. She was sure. roaring going up and using the engine brake going down and we got our man in the back who is singing us good lullabies hey man how we doing <laughs> oh and our other man in the back who's farting you gassy man
made it to our on the right. <laughs> first destination. Mm. Where are we going? Right here. Okay. Looks a little tight. Are we the 209? Are you? Yeah. Okay. It's 19. Oh, I see it. Sorry. Yeah. Now I see the breakdown. So we're on this side of it. All right. I'll okay. back in. All right. We have made it to our destination, but it did not go how we had planned. Our black tank has fallen off the bracket. I'm going to show you really quick what we're doing, and I'm just going to tell you we're going to bed. We need to get up at 3 a.m. We need to get to Colorado Springs. I hope you can hear me through the wind. Um, I've already booked a repair, but I'm going to show you what we, what we did. So just quickly, it's going to be hard to see. You can see that our, our um, if you remember what we went, we went over this already a couple of months ago, but the, the tank has fallen off the bracket again. So now we're going to reinforce it with this galvanized pole across the belly, across the belly. I've already screwed through the I-beam frame. I've already put up my brackets. Ariel's going to cut the pole short. I'm going to do the other side, and we're going to bed. Not a good, not the best day, but, dude, that's the life of RVers. You move these things, things happen, but this is actually a recall. I thought I did it good. I was proud of my work. I was bragging. I bragged too soon. See you in the morning. We are up. It is 5.16 a.m. Been up since, I don't know, 4.45. We're eating. We're getting everything packed, stowed away so we can get out of here and make it to Colorado as early as possible so these um, mobile tech workers, not mobile tech workers, they're just, I'm going to the RV in-house section um, so they can get this camper in their hands as fast as possible probably not going to film too much today unless I'm saying we're getting our baby back not ribs but I'll be super excited if I am recording later on today I think when we get to Ryan's house I'm going to go to sleep I've already brought my sleep mask I just plan on sleeping because this is now three five hour nights no yeah. was it six uh, I don't know what time it's 10 30 yep all right let's get going Noah, you ready to go? Another day, but another day in the car seat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? As soon as he gets in there, he's gonna cry. of driving we have made it to our destination here at RV Pro Tech which is a Forest River approved service center in order to get our warranty taken care of I'm gonna get two things done while I'm here I'm going to get the bearings not the bearings I'm gonna get what's that word I'm looking for I'm going to get grease packed into our I'm gonna grease our greasable wet bolts me and Ariel are gonna pack a bag for the night because the RV is going to stay. Yes, Ariel, the RV is going to stay over overnight. 
and we hopefully will come pick up the RV tomorrow with no problems and no added costs because we're getting two other things done. I really would like the bearings packed, but when that lady said $900, I was like, okay, so about that warranty. So I'm going to get busy. I got to help, uh, help Ariel. You got to get out of here. Uh, I tell you what, there's nothing better. Well, this is our first time, <laughs> but there's nothing better than getting your RV back. I just don't want to have to give it to anybody ever again. So, keeping up with maintenance is so important. And as soon as that warranty comes in, I should not have done it myself. I should have gave it to somebody. But I tell you what, it really messes with my self-esteem because I felt great about working on that on that bracket. I felt like I really pushed it over. My drills were, my drill holes were perfect, but obviously not. <sighs> I'm ready to go to our actual RV spot. RV's waiting on me. Ariel's waiting on me, but thank God we're not dying of heat because it is really nice here today and the cloud coverage is superb. So let's go hitch up. Ariel, back in business? Back in business. Baby. Back in business. Hey. Only bad thing is, is Ariel's plant got left in the back of the truck. I completely forgot about it, so I hope she's okay when we hang her back up. Uh, water her first. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely give her water. So, the things that were fixed on here is we also had a very bad battery disconnection, and that's why our battery has been dying every time we have drove over seven hours. Um, the other issue was obviously the tank. They fixed the tank. They put our rod back in for peace of mind for me. And that's that was 68 bucks and I don't want to throw that $68 away. In my, yes, in my pocket. Um, the other issue, what's the other issue besides the battery? Oh, we got our maintenance done to the <laughs> lubing of those tires. I still don't have in my head what we got done, what that thing is, but, um, uh, greasable wet bolts. Oh my god. We got that taken care of. We did not pack our We did not do any packing of the bushings or whatever you would call it I'm gonna look that up and do that myself later. I probably shouldn't But uh, that or I'll probably have an RV tech come out do that for me And I will learn from him and then carry that on myself for the next how many years we have this RV Okay guys, we made it in, we're at the campground, checked in, and we are ready to get set up. This is nice. If this was Arkansas, I, I would look at this grass and say, look at the ticks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice little setup. Uh, let's go ahead and put everything together. Yep. Thirty-five minutes later, we are finally set up. This took actually way longer than thirty-five minutes, including the Walmart trip and buying again more stuff. Um, I do not find levelers to be a essential, um, but we don't have as many. Uh oh, woof! I got bright. We don't have as many blocks as it took to level this camper, so we have more stuff. I'm going to do my favorite part and I'm going to wash the front cap, is which I always do, unless the RV park doesn't allow it, then I just come out at 10 o'clock and do it. Um, but I don't want those bugs on there, so I'm going to go clean off the front, and then I'm going to get a little camp set up out here and prepare for everybody to get settled, get into their cabin, and I guess everybody's coming here, or we go to the cabin, I'm not sure, but I'm just glad that after this I can finally just go, <sighs> I'm done doing stuff. But, what a view, right? Golly, I'm excited. All right, I, camp is set up. I ended up washing the truck. I ended up cutting my hair. Thank God, I needed it. I think I'm gonna close this video out. We are here in Colorado Springs, 
and we will begin 4th of July tomorrow. I think I'll pick up the video from there. Thanks for watching. This trip has been a little bit of a downfall, but <laughs> we made it. Uh, I think the total building that we paid was 375. Coachman paid maybe 280 for that black tank fix. Um, I'm just glad that the camper is where it needs to be. I'm glad that me and Ariel and Noah and Chief are where we need to be. We're gonna continue this trip, refresh. I don't even know what to say after that. Thanks for watching. Click, like, subscribe. Remember, the RV lifestyle is not the easiest, but it can be rewarding when you get places like this, when you get to your destination like this. See you in the next one.